When the Super Bowl ends on Sunday, each player on the winning team will get $157,000. That's tip money for NFL players earning millions, and it also represents a fraction of the billions of dollars businesses and individuals will earn in connection with a big game. Just how much the Super Bowl will generate for Phoenix and Arizona this week remains a subject of debate. The NFL has stated the league championship pumps in an average of $500 million into a local economy, while Victor Matheson, a sports economist at the College of the Holy Cross, believes the number is somewhere between $30 million and $130 million. According to Phoenix officials, the last Super Bowl in the Valley of the Sun generated $720 million worth of economic activity and they think this year it could be bigger. It broke pretty much every record we have in the city of Phoenix. We think the next one will go even further. Fly, Eagles, fly on the road to victory. The Super Bowl brings tens of thousands of new visitors, many from Kansas City to root on the Chiefs and Philadelphia to cheer on the Eagles all of them ready and willing to spend money. And businesses, some already experiencing a worker shortage, are working overtime to meet the demands of the big game. Probably 10 to 12 extra people that we've picked up. And when, you know, some of them are coming from other locations. And uh, we even have uh, a couple of our former team members that live out of state now, flying back to work for us for the week. Hotels have been sold out for months at prices much higher than usual. But the Super Bowl does not represent a big score for all of the communities surrounding the game. For this year's game, the stadium is actually in the Phoenix suburb of Glendale. And many leaders there are still smarting from the 2008 Super Bowl, where the city said it spent $3.4 million on services such as public safety, while the city of Glendale only took in $1.2 million in taxes from direct spending at places like hotels and restaurants. Still, an estimated 150,000 visitors will be heading to the Valley of the Sun this week, and people there are ready to greet them. And sometimes fans head to the host city even if they don't have a ticket to the game. They just want to be part of the scene. And one transplanted Philadelphia Eagle fan is ready to help. If you want to watch the Eagles game and have a really fun atmosphere, you want to come to a place that's owned by a guy from Philadelphia. Fans of the Kansas City Chiefs won't be left out. They can find a home away from home at Pub Rock Live in Phoenix. For this week, it has created the $159 Pub Pass, which will get the most ardent Chiefs fans merchandise, food, and a spot at the head of the line for its Super Bowl bash viewing party. We try to make this a home away from home when you come out here. You know, you get a little piece of Arrowhead right here in Arizona. To most of these vendors, it's not so much which team they root for that matters most. Super Bowl visitors on average spend between two and three hundred dollars per day during their trip. What matters most is where they spend their money.